I apologize for missing the 2022.28.2 update. I received it during my ECU retrofit video. One of the major changes from that update I'll show later on in this video. Today I have the new system update 2022.36.2. This includes four new features and two undocumented changes. I'll update it now and see what I get. As I usually do, I'll cover the first thing that I see when we get the update and look at the release notes page. If you have to skip the release notes, you can find it again by tapping the control button, software, and then scroll down until you see the release notes button on the right side of the screen. Press it and you have a listing of the changes for this update. The first thing we have is the Energy app. Learn more about your vehicle energy consumption with the updated Energy app. You can now monitor the amount of energy used while driving and while parked. See how much energy is consumed by different vehicle components, driving behaviors, and environmental conditions. View energy used in comparison to trip projection and the battery indicator. Receive personalized suggestions for using energy more efficiently. Start the Energy app and now you have a new view. Since I just restarted the car with the update, all of the data is empty until I take a drive. The top area has a battery state of charge versus miles chart that will adjust as you drive the car. Below this is a list of consumption items. Usually driving will take up the majority of the usage. There is also climate, battery conditioning, this happens when you enter a supercharger as a destination, elevation, and everything else. Everything else includes things like the audio system, lights, etc. You can switch between trip and rated views. When rated is chosen, you can also look at the current drive or since last charge for more detailed information. You can also see how much energy is used while the car is parked. Options include since last drive and since last charge. The consumption page is pretty similar to what it used to be on the previous versions. You can adjust it by the miles 5, 15, and 30 with how it tracks it. And also you can look at instant range and average range. Next, I'm going to do a test. I'm going to drive about six miles away to a supercharger. By the way, I will have the supercharger as a destination so that the battery condition will be in effect. Looking at the rated chart, I'm below the estimated battery line for this drive. Also, the consumption figure for driving was 1.8%, battery conditioning was 0.7%, and elevation was 0.4%. Switching to trip, you can see that a lot of the drive is above the estimated line of battery percentage. The car estimated that I should have used more than I actually did. On the way back, I drove fairly similar to the ride to the supercharger. This drive shows the driving line closer to slightly under the estimated line. And now you can see the results on the trip mode with the driving at 1.7%, battery conditioning at zero since it's not going to the supercharger, elevation negative 0.1%, and everything else at 0.1%. Notice that the range tips are live. Previously, during the drive, it said aggressive acceleration consumes more energy. Use chill mode to improve efficiency. Also, going uphill will cost 0.3% and going downhill saved 0.2% this drive. Next up, we have cabin overheat protection. Choose the activation temperature for cabin overheat protection according to your preferences by tapping controls, safety, then scroll down until you see cabin overheat protection. When you press cabin overheat protection to on, you're now given a choice of three temperatures, 90 degrees, 
95 degrees, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Number three is Tesla app. View additional media details and ETA to a destination when a route is active from the Tesla mobile app with version 4.13.0 or newer. Bringing up the app on my phone, I do see that the media player controls are here in the app. I don't see anything about the ETA to a destination when I had the navigation route set, so I'll keep a watch out for that one. Number four is Supercharger Additional Details. The redesigned Supercharger map pop-up will now display historical site occupancy in addition to the associated charging fees when available. To view these details, tap on any Supercharger pin that is in the vicinity of your vehicle. Here's a Supercharger site that I just visited. Press the pin on the screen to bring up the Supercharger pop-up. Notice that there is a chart that shows the relative busy times for this location. It also shows the time of use electricity pricing depending on the time of day. Here it's 19 cents off peak and 38 cents peak per kilowatt hour. Pressing the icons on the bottom shows the local amenities. I don't know if I've demonstrated this before, but this is another handy thing for when you're stopping for a charge and want to know what's in the general vicinity. Number five is car left open notifications. Car left open notifications will now notify you when the doors have been accidentally left unlocked. Okay, I left my door unlocked in my garage while the auto locks were turned off. I walked away into my house and kept an eye on the Tesla phone app. Nothing so far within two hours has given me any warning regarding the doors left unlocked. I'll keep an eye on this too with more testing. And now for the last documented feature, number six, new language support. You can now select Lithuanian as your touchscreen language. To update your language settings, tap Controls, Display, and select your preferred language from the touchscreen language drop-down menu. Battery heat performance is an undocumented feature. Battery heat performance has been improved when driving at highway speeds with a supercharger selected as the destination. I suppose I'll get more experience with this as I have some long distance trips coming up in the next few weeks. Next we have mirrors calibration, the final undocumented feature. In addition to being able to calibrate your seat and steering wheel, your powered mirrors can now be calibrated as well. To calibrate your mirrors, go to controls, service, driver's seat, steering, and mirrors calibration. Once that comes up, you can press start to begin. Before I forget, let me cover last update's major change, multiple selectable routes for navigation. I choose a destination here, and it now shows up to three different routes to reach it. It gives the amount of time for each one when you click on the line corresponding to the alternate route. If you wait several seconds, the car will then choose the last one you selected as your preferred route. This is a great feature that we've been waiting years to have updated. An interesting update this month, the most important thing being the energy screen. The added granularity for energy tracking and usage will be an added benefit on long trips. Well, that wraps up this episode of System Update 2022.36.2. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.